So, this is actually this is the sag this is right uh, this is D therefore, your and from figure 3 you can write I just told you that T y is equal to W s actually basically it will be W L by 2. So, that is why T y is equal to W into your uh, sorry this is small this is small l this is small l sorry this is small l because this is l by 2 sorry this is small l right. So, this will be your w l by 2. So, and if s is equal to l by 2 small s is equal to l by 2 then T y is equal to w s that means this whole thing right from here to here is a, if s is equal to small l by 2 then only T y is equal to w s means w into small l by 2. So, that is T y is equal to w s that is why you are writing this is the vertical one and this is balancing this conductor weight. So, T y is equal to w s. Now, another thing is T x that horizontal component say it is w into c where T x can be defined as the mass of some unknown length c. This is w is known kg per meter square conductor weight we know and c is some unknown length right of the conductor and similarly T and T y also your what you call also uh, can be your uh, can be written as defined as that T x if you look into that that T x is equal to the horizontal over tension h and T y is equal to W s that is your vertical vertical 1 v vertical 1 v that means t basically T y is equal to W s is equal to v is equal to W small l by 2. So, that means that T x is equal to h that is equation 30 and T y is equal to v this is equation 31 where h is equal to horizontal tension in conductor and V is equal to weight of conductor per meter of span time right. So, distance from point of maximum sag to support right. So, thus for the triangle of forces figure 1 we have seen earlier that T is equal to root over h square plus V square this we have seen equal 32. Therefore, from equation 32, 31, 30, 29 and 28 we get you will know one is your what you call that T x is equal to h horizontal one that is equal to your w into c and T y is equal to v that is equal to w s. So, basically T is equal to root over w s c square and plus w your a square. So, that is why it is coming T is equal to root over w c square plus w s square. So, w you take common to T is equal to root over c square plus a square into w, w actually conductor weight this is equation 33. Now, from equation 29 and 30 you will get that c is equal to h by a or what you call w. So, if you go back to equation just hold on equation 29. So, this is in 29 the equation this one is equal to your 29 and 30 I am making it here I am making it here for you equation 29 equation 29. So, 29 actually T x is equal to w into c right and 30 actually T x is equal to h this is equation 29 and this is 30 that means w c is equal to h that means c is equal to h by w that is why you are writing this in this equation that in this equation that c is equal to h by w. So, if I go back to this figure that is why this c we have written it is h by w look at this figure it is written c is equal to h by w. Right. So, now again from equation 11 and 34 right we have small s is equal to c sin hyperbolic x by c because that equation 30 11 equation 11 if you see equation 11 equation 11 actually it was small s it was h by w then sin hyperbolic then it is w x by h this was equation 11. Now, this one can be written as this one sin hyperbolic then x upon h by w and h by w is equal to c that is why we are writing s is equal to c then sin hyperbolic then x upon c. So, what we are making from equation 11 and 34 s is equal to c sin hyperbolic x by c whatever I have done here right. So, this is equation your 35 therefore, 
your from equation 15 this similar way equation 15 we can write y is equal to c cos hyperbolic then x by c plus k 1 this is equation 36 this is actually from equation 15 we are just making that uh, c is equal to h by w. So, you can easily you can easily make it. So, where x uh, so no need to tell this one a simple thing. So, where x is half of the span length l by 2. Now, from figure 3 when x is equal to 0 y is equal to c that means this figure right this figure if you look into this that just hold on this figure if you look into this that this is figure 3 when x is equal to 0 I mean then y is, y is equal to c because this is the height c this is the origin say. So, when x is equal to 0 y is equal to c therefore, this equation this equation you put this boundary condition in this equation right in this equation then you will get that is equation 36 then you will get c is equal to your c into cos hyperbolic 0 plus k 1 hence k is equal to 0 because cos hyperbolic 0 is 1 therefore, k 1 is equal to 0 because c is equal to c plus k 1. So, k 1 is 0 therefore, this y is equal to c cos hyperbolic x by c that means, this equation 36 this k 1 you put here 0 right. Therefore, y is equal to your c cos hyperbolic x this is equation 37. Now, squaring equation 35 that means, this equation you square this equation you square this equation a square is equal to c square sin hyperbolic square x upon c. So, if you do so, so a square is equal to c square sin hyperbolic square x by c and next is you square equation 37 if you do so it is y square is equal to c square cos hyperbolic square x upon c right. Now, what you do you subtract equation 38 from equation 39 you just subtract equation 38 from equation 39 right that means, that means subtracting equation 38 if you do so it will be y square minus a square is equal to c square cos hyperbolic square x upon c minus sin hyperbolic square x upon c. So, this is one right it is hyperbolic function. So, cos square hyperbolic minus sin square hyperbolic it is one. So, therefore, y square minus a square is equal to c square that means, y is equal to root over c square plus a square this is equation 40. Therefore, from equation 33 and 40 we get. So, equation 33 again we have to go back to you could just hold on I have to search those equation high equation 33. So, this is equation 33 t is equal to root over c square plus a square into w this one. So, that means and uh, it is root over c square plus y square is equal to y root over that, that, that we have got the root over c square plus y square is equal to y that means, this equation can be written t is equal to y into w that is why you are writing that is that is the maximum tension right from, from equation third we get t max is equal to w into y because y is the y is the maximum one y is equal to c plus d actually from this figure right that figure we have seen again and again. So, that means, t max we can write w into y this is equation 41 and y is equal to root over c square plus a square that means, t max is equal to then we can write again w into root over c square plus a square this is equation 42. Now, according to equation 41 this one maximum tension t occurs at the support right as per this equation maximum tension will occur at the support that means, both side of the tower that means, where the conductor is at an angle to the horizontal whose tangent is v by h that we have seen or s by c since v is equal to omega w s w into s that vertical uh, weight of the mid from the through the mid point acting downward that conductor weight. So, v is equal to w s and and h is equal to w into c this is this is the horizontal one. So, at supports therefore, that we know y is equal to c plus d just let me see if I can get back that figure again right. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise we have seen that figure again and again uh, anyway. So, from that figure 3 only that y is equal to c plus d. So, this is equation 43 that means, we have seen just now that y is equal to root over c square plus a square that means, y is equal to c plus d. So, c plus d is equal to root over c square plus a square that means, c is equal to a square minus d square upon 2 d just 
where both side you square it and simplify you will get c is equal to a square minus d square upon 2 d this is equation 44. So, from equation 41 and 43 we can write we have seen t max is equal to w into y, but y is equal to c plus d. So, t max is equal to w into c plus d this is equation 45 that means substituting equation 44 that means this one into equation 45 right. If you substitute and uh, this uh, your this one right and simplify you will get t max is equal to w upon 2 d a square plus d square. I mean it is coming this way that your t max is equal to is equal to your w into c plus d is equal to w then your c is equal to your a square minus d square upon 2 d c a, a, so a square minus d square upon 2 d plus d that is w into a square minus d square plus 2 d square upon 2 d. So, that is w into a square plus d square divided by 2 d. So, that is why we, we get the get that thing that t max is equal to your w upon 2 d a square plus d square equation 46 right. This that means which gives the maximum value of the conductor tension this is the maximum tension. A line tangent to the conductor is horizontal at the point to where sag is maximum and is greatest angle from the horizontal at the support right and the supports are at the same level thus the weight of the conductor in one half span on each side is you are supported at each tower because tower height is same. So, naturally your what you call that uh, whole weight of the conductor will uh, your act at the midpoint of the your conductor at the point of maximum sag that is the mid span that is the mid uh, point of the conductor the vertical component of the tension is 0 because there at the mid point you will find only h exists, but vertical component your of the tension will be uh, 0. So, in this case the maximum thus maximum tension occurs at the point of maximum sag uh, sorry minimum tension will occur at the point of maximum sag right. Therefore, the tension at this point that is at y is equal to c if you think that graph that acts in a horizontal direction and is equal to the horizontal component of tension. Therefore, t minimum should be h because it is at the mid span. So, t minimum should be h that and we know h is equal to w into c. So, t minimum will be w into c and we have seen that c is equal to root over uh, sorry a square minus d square upon 2 d. So, what you do this t minimum c you substitute is equal to w into a square minus d square upon 2 d say this is equation 48 a right. So, from figure 3 again again and again not showing the figure 3 it is we, we have seen no that c plus d is equal to y therefore, from figure 3 only c is equal to y minus d this is equation 49. Therefore, the conductor length that is we know that L by 2 is equal to s. So, L is equal to 2 s right a small 2 into small s this is equation 50. Some equation 50 and 35 we get L is equal to 2 and from 35 s is equal to c sin hyperbolic x by c you substitute here from equation 35 s is equal to. So, small l is equal to 2 c sin hyperbolic x by c this is equation 51 and from therefore, from equation 45 and 48 <coughs> that means, your this is your 48 and th this is just hold on this is your equation 45, 45 t max is equal to w c plus w d actually and that means, your t max and t mean is equal to we know that w c just now here you are here it is t mean is equal to w c. Therefore, your from equation 45 and 48 actually t max is equal to t min plus w d because here t max is equal to w c plus w c and w c is equal to t min therefore, t max is equal to t min plus w d that is why we are making it that t max is equal to t min plus w d this is equation 52 right. So, this is your 
using all catenary uh, shape right and these are all the relationship when we will take the numericals at that time we will see the usefulness of this formula. Now, suppose if it is a parabola now we whatever you have seen that is basically general case now if it is a parabola. So, equal by your shape so this is the same level distance is L and this is the maximum sag D some point P we have taken. So, tension T y is acting along this direction upward and your here it is your uh, T x is the horizontal tension angle between this is the tension T tangential it is working this angle is theta and this is the your mid span that is O this is the point of maximum sag this is the maximum sag and from this this distance is y some distance is y and this is some point p and this angle is theta this is parameters of parabola and this is the horizontal tension h and in between the o and p this is the midpoint something so say some distance x so w into x is you are working downwards this is the conductor weight say if you consider the point p and between o and p this is the midpoint between o and p this is the w x and this is figure 4 right and this is the distance between the two supports. So, for the sake of simplicity the following assumptions are made throughout the span tension is considered uniform right this is one assumption. Second is the change in conductor length due to elastic stretch or temperature expansion is equal to the change of length of conductor equal in length to the horizontal distance between the support these two assumptions we are making right and if you assume let this is the point P. So, let P be any point on the your parabolic curve as shown in figure 4. So, P is any point right any point such that O P is equal to x. So, this distance this is your O P that distance is uh, your O P is equal to actually this is uh, if you take a your uh, S. <coughs> so, this will be your whatever we are writing that O P is equal to x because of this assumption uh, because because we have to uh, just consider the two assumption this is because of the second assumption. So, that is why O p is equal to x and the portion O p is in equilibrium under the action of T h and W x for equilibrium T x is equal to h same thing this is the horizontal one T x is equal to h and T y is equal to W x right. So, T x is equal to h and T y is equal to W x. So, taking if you take moment about p right. So, if you take moment about p this about this point p then it will become that is your h this is the h and this distance is y. So, h into y and this this is w x right w into x and it is midpoint. So, w x into x by 2. So, you are taking moment around about p. So, h y is equal to w x into x by 2 because this is the midpoint so x by 2. So, and this is x by 2 is coming because of our second assumption. So, for short span with small sag T max minus T min can be considered as small that means T max minus T min we have seen is equal to your W into D. So, for a small sag that T max minus T min can be considered as small. So, in that case if it is so, so we can write T max is equal to T min approximately is equal to H. So, T max is equal to T mean is H that means that we can write that one also T. So, T is equal to T max is equal to T mean is equal to H. Therefore, equation 53 that means this equation this equation y is equal to W x square by 2 H we can write right this equation that as T is equal to ultimately it is coming T is equal to H. Therefore, we can write y is equal to W x square upon 2 H this is equation 53. So, we can write this equation y is equal to w x square upon 2 t this is because h is equal to t this is equation 54. When x is equal to capital L by 2 right then y is equal to d that means this is the this is the midpoint this total length is L. So, when x will be L by 2 then sag will be d therefore, x by when x is equal to capital L by 2 then y small y is equal to d. Right. Therefore, d is equal to w l square by 8 t this is equation 55 because here you substitute a your y is equal to d and x is equal to l by 2 you will get d is equal to w l square by 8 t. Since 
t is equal to h because from this equation t is equal to h also. So, this equation it also can be written as that d is equal to w l square by uh, 8 h. So, this is equation 56 right. So, from equation 13 and 56. So, from equation 13 and 56 you know that d is equal to w l square by 8 h. So, what you do? You substitute that thing and in equation 13 you will get small l is equal to capital L in bracket 1 plus 8 d square divided by 3 l square. This is equation 57 right. So, with this uh, your uh, whatever derivation was there for equal supports one is catenary shape another is parabolic shape these are all the mathematical expression up to equation 57 right. Now, that uh, we will take an example after that we will consider that your wind pressure then ice uh, 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 your ice formation on the conductor those things will be considered. So, first you take an example say example 1 a transmission line conductor has been suspended freely from two towers and has taken the form of a catenary that has c is equal to 487.68 meter this is given the span between the two towers is 152 meter and the weight of the conductor is 1160 kg per kilometer this is per kilometer is given you have to calculate the following 1 length of the conductor b the sag c maximum and minimum value of conductor tension that is t max and t min using catenary method approximate value of tension by using your parabolic method right this is the numerical. So, how to solve it? So, whatever problem formula we have derived mathematical derivation. So, just you have to stick to that right. Problems here are quite simple if you can recall those formula. From equation 12 we know L is equal to 2 h upon w sin half wave hyperbolic w L upon 2 h. Since we know C is equal to h by w this we have seen. Therefore, L is equal to we can write 2 c because h by w upon c 2 c sin hyperbolic capital L upon 2 c because c is equal to h by w. So, it is w by h denominator your input uh, just divide by w. So, that is why you can write sin hyperbolic L by capital L by 2 c. Now, it is given c is equal to 487.68 meter and given L is equal to 152 meter. So, substitute all this value. So, small l will be equal to 2 into 487.68 sin hyperbolic 152 upon 2 into 487.68 that means L is equal to 152.576 your meter right. So, if you look into that that horizontal distance between two tower is given 152 meter and if you look the uh, length of conductor it is now 152.576 meter. So, as it has taken a catenary shape so, length has increased right. Now, approximate formula for L. Now, we have just derived we have derived that equation 13 in equation 13 that equation 13 the small l is equal to it is equation 13 only 1 plus w square l square upon 24 a square. So, or l is equal to l 1 plus that capital L square upon 24 c square because c is equal to h by w. So, here you just replace that uh, h by w by c. So, l square upon 24 c square right. So, capital L is given L is equal to horizontal distance 152 and it is 1 plus 152 square divided by 24 into 487.68 whole square, square meter. So, if you see L is equal to 152.615. So, this is one formula approximate formula and this one we got that your 152.576 this is exact one okay, using psi hyper, sin hyperbolic and this is approximate formula for L is. So, 152.615. So, it is not much difference approximate formula initially I told that if error maximum error will be 2 percent right. Next is using equation 24 because next part is a part B right. So, in the part B just hold on uh, part B 
that you have to find out that sag, part B is the sag. So, in that case that using equation 24 d is equal to h upon w cos hyperbolic w l upon 2 h minus 1. So, d is equal to h upon w is c. So, just ratio h by w replaced by c it is cos hyperbolic capital L by 2 c minus 1 right. That means, if you substitute all the data all the all the data if you substitute since c is equal to h by w I have written here once again d is equal to 487.68. So, cos hyperbolic divided by 1 uh, which, uh, hyperbolic 152 divided by 2 into 487.68 minus 1. So, that means d is equal to sag is 5.934 meter. Now, c, c you have to find out this one maximum and minimum value of conductor tension using catenary method. So, using equation 45 we have seen just a T max is equal to W into C plus D. W is given 1160 kg per kilometer that is actually 1.16 kg per meter and C is given 487.68 meter and D we have calculated here 5.934 meter. So, D is equal to 5.93 meter. So, T max is equal to 1.16 into 487.68 plus D 5.934 kg. So, 572.59 kg this is your T max right. Next one is that you have to uh, this is you have to find out the minimum one. We know that T max plus T min is equal to W D that we have seen using equation 52 where it has been shown then T max is equal to T min plus W D that means, T min is equal to T max minus W D. That means, T min is equal to T max just we have calculated 572.59 minus W is 1.16 and D also sag we have calculated 5.934. Therefore, T min is equal to 565.706 kg that means, between T max and T min you will find there is not much difference. Now, last one is that approximate value of tension by using parabolic method. If you use parabolic method, then first you have to calculate approximate method you are using. So, per equation 55 d is equal to w l square by 80, this we have seen w is equal to 1.16 right and your t that means, this equation we can write t is equal to w l square upon 8 d, d is coming here, t is going here, t is equal to w l square by 8 d. So, w we know 1.16 kg per meter, l is 152 meter, so 152 square divided by 8 into d we have calculated the sag 5.934, you will get t is equal to 564.55 kg. This is the using your approximate uh, method, using your what you call that parabolic method. So, uh, the numericals are very simple, but only those uh, catenary method and parabolic one little bit practice is necessary a little bit understanding particularly the boundary condition and little bit of integration. With that I think you can easily do it with that thank you very much.